Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Listen up, buddy. I don't know who you are, but this is going to change your life. And if you don't listen to what I'm about to say in this video, you are going to have an epic fail of a website and a business, and you won't make any sales at all. So if you pay attention, you will know the best Shopify themes that you need to be using on your store and which themes are toxic, are cancerous, are frankly the worst things you can ever use because anyone that will see your website will know for a fact that you are a scammy dropshipping website. What is poppin' everybody? My name is Ethan Dobbins if you're new around here and oh my goodness Ethan, what an intro. I mean honestly, I don't know when this quarantine is going to end. I don't think it'll end uh, in 2020 frankly because shit's crazy out here especially in florida no one just no one cares i mean everyone's at the beach they're partying acting like nothing ever happened like there was no coronavirus or you know kobe dying or any bad stuff it's just a normal year 2020 is just like 2019 oh my god i just want to have a nice relaxing video where we go over some good shopify themes tell you what are the best free themes the best paid themes and tell you what are the ones you want to avoid as well now the first theme on our list today is the narrative theme. Now, I absolutely love this theme for one product stores and branded stores. If you're a general store, it doesn't look so good, but this really emphasizes the product page. It makes it look so incredibly just beautiful and attractive. So this narrative, and we're gonna see a quick preview right here just to show you what it looks like. I mean, oh my goodness, it's perfect for a one product store. Because with the home page, you can really talk about that one product you're selling. You can have a video, you can talk about all the products. You could have the product image on the right and then on the left, talk about the product. It's just so great for these one product stores. And then when we go to the actual product page, just like this, this is what it looks like. It's really interestingly you know, formatted. There's not many themes that are formatted like this, but oh my gosh, does it look good. And look at that menu drop down. Oh my goodness, it looks so great. I absolutely love it. You know, you go to the products, you can really check out, you know, what's going on here. So if we want to go to this wash, you can see how you have all the pictures at the top middle. You got the description on the right. And then when you scroll all the way down, usually it will show you the reviews if you have that installed. Now, the next theme I want to talk about is the Brooklyn theme. This is perfect for those niche and general stores that you might be starting. So you might be licking your lips a little bit when you hear that. Now, here's a quick preview of what the Brooklyn theme looks like. As you can see right here, it has collections and these collection images. You can really customize the size and make them look good. So if you have a general store, that's perfect for you. You can also have a featured product on the home page as well. And I just really like the theme and the look of it. So when we go to collections, as we can see right here, go to product pages and really all the emphasis is on the product pages. You want to have good looking product pages and with the Brooklyn theme, how it's unique is it has all of the photos on the left. And as you scroll down, you get to see more photos of it. So it's not really like a scroll to the right or you click right and then it shows more images, but you scroll down and it's a really cool user experience. It's very easily formatted and I absolutely love it. So on mobile, this is what it's going to look like right here. As you can see now, we can click to the right, see all the different videos and photos of your product. It looks really, really solid. Now, debut is the default theme. Everybody knows about debut. And personally, when I first started, I loved this theme. and had so many great customizations to it. But over time, the sort of perception of what I thought about debut has deteriorated. I believe it's not really the best choice anymore because so many people use it. And that's going to be a constant theme of what I don't like in the most popular themes. Oh my god, that was horrible. Basically, with these themes, I just not a big fan of a lot of people use them because then people can sort of see the trends and patterns and they can sort of sniff out that you're a general or, you know, that you're a dropshipping store. I mean, right here, I've seen this sort of product page look at 9 million times. I mean, everybody's seen it. It's just so boring. It's so generic. It's not something I'm really a big fan of anymore. Maybe two, three years ago, you could get away with using this theme, but I'm not a big fan anymore. And to wrap it up with the other free themes, I honestly don't have much of an opinion. You can play around with them, see what works the best for you, because obviously each theme is sort of dedicated to a specific niche. So if you're doing a clothing store, then a theme like Boundless might work for you. If you're doing a general store, then Boundless might not work for you. And then maybe 
narrative will work better. It all depends on really what you're going for with your brand. And when you go to the Shopify theme store, it will tell you what works the best for your niche. So we're gonna go to that store and pick out some themes. Alrighty, so let's imagine that we got $180 to play with. We're gonna buy a paid theme and we are starting, let's say, oh gosh, what do we wanna start? What kind of store? Let's say a, like a nature, sort of outdoors type website. So let's go to paid as you can see right here. And we're gonna have a medium catalog and we're gonna scroll down and what is our layout style? I personally, I like to do wide. We'll go to product page, see what we want. Now for our products, we want high definition images, we want gallery, and we want a size chart. So maybe we're selling clothing as well. So we're gonna go down homepage, I don't really care. Industry, that's when we can do, you know, nature or outdoors. Sports and recreation is, eh, it's sort of similar. Uh, if we're looking at all the different ones, I would say that's the one that best describes it. So we'll go sports and recreation. And then look at all these themes that we got here. So what would I personally choose? I mean, these are all really, really cool. Like this symmetry one, wow. Let's just take a look at the demo for this real quick. Oh my goodness. So look at that graphic. That's a really solid graphic. That's really what caught my eye. Good collections. I mean, really tall, you know, in your face. Product images too. Oh my gosh, the vertical. This is a brilliant, brilliant website. I mean, oh my God. Wow, that looks seriously dope. Let's take a look at one of the product pages right here. So behind you, I mean, these are just amazing skateboard designs. I'm not a skateboarder. I can't be your skateboarding boyfriend or anything, but I might have to after looking at this website. So really simple product description. Oh my gosh, look at these trust badges too. Really, really cool. Wow, I mean, this is a great theme in my eyes. And with a great theme, really it just comes down to customizations. How much can you customize it? Because if you can't really play around that much, then there's no point in buying it. Now I've been doing dropshipping for three years now, and if there was one theme that has reigned on top of the hill of all the other Shopify themes, the greatest theme that you could possibly use, it's fast, it's user friendly, great product pages, great customizations, you can really play around to your heart's content on what you want your website to look like, it's Turbo, 100%. There is no better theme out there. It's called Turbo for a reason, it's that fast. And let's take a look at this demo right here. I mean, a great banner image. They got sections, different product lines. I mean, oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. And I wanna show you one of the different product pages because oh my gosh, one of the cool real perks of it is these color swatches. And basically a swatch, you know it sounds like a watch or a Rolex, but basically it shows you the different color options you got and it's super customizable, exactly like a Nike.com or one of your favorite clothing brands, and it's just so greatly formatted. The pictures on the left, product description on the right. And not to mention, when you scroll down, you got the tabs, features, care instructions, and then finally, you got reviews. Oh, bonissimo, it's perfecto. You cannot get better than this. I know it's $350, but it's the best in the business. Now, Uncle Ethan didn't tell you this, but it's not like you can go to Fiverr and then look up under $10 and find people selling Shopify themes for like $5 that you can install onto your website or anything. That was a pro dropshipping move between you and me, all right? So just make sure to like that video for that awesome tip. Now, if there was ever a Shopify theme that I hated with every bone in my body, it just makes me shiver inside. It makes me retract into my skeleton. It makes me cringe. It's like a pet peeve when someone scratches chalk on a whiteboard. It hurts me when people use this theme. It's the booster Shopify theme. Oh my God, it's the ugliest theme in the world. So many people use it. It just smells and reeks of dropshipping and it's just so unprofessional. Now, if you have young children, please cover their eyes right now because you're just gonna hate this product page. Looking at the add to cart button, it shakes around. It looks incredibly sketchy and spammy. And then at the bottom to make it worse, you got this bullshit. Six people are currently looking at this product. Like no one cares how many people are looking at the product. It just looks so spammy and scammy. It doesn't look real. It looks fake like a robot. It just screams scam. It's disgusting. It's horrible. I hate it. I don't want anyone to use it. I think anyone that ever sees this as an actual consumer will run away immediately when they see, oh my gosh, why the hell is there a weird eyeball with 12 people? Like, no one fucking cares how many people are on the website. And the last theme that I'm not a big fan of is Debutify. Now, that might be surprising to a lot of people because Debutify is one of the most popular Shopify themes. 
But that's also a problem at the same time because if we're all using the same theme and all our websites look exactly the same, then people are gonna realize, oh, so these are the dropshipping websites. These are the scammy looking websites where I was getting that product from China. You don't wanna look like a dropshipping brand. That's not what you wanna look like at the end of the day. So using a theme that thousands of other people are using will instantly reveal yourself to your consumer and show them that, oh crap, they're not a legit brand. And I'm not saying Debutify doesn't have great customizations. I actually think it's a pretty decent theme when it comes to all the different things you can do. It's just the problem that too many people are using it right now. It's too saturated. And how many fucking times have you seen these goddamn trust badges at the bottom? You see these every single time. Oh my god. It's just... And this blocky font. I've seen this blocky font nine million times in these trust badges. Oh my god. It's just... Ugh. Ugh. And the worst part is they also do that bullshit for people are viewing. I'm like, wait, no one cares. No one cares how many people are viewing the product. And on this one, it has the tabs, but usually it doesn't do that. I've downloaded this theme before. And guys, I know so many of you are using this theme. Please don't. It looks ugly. It's not good. So many people are using it. And I understand your favorite Shopify guru probably told you to use this theme. Well, that's because they're getting paid. They get paid an affiliate link. Every time you sign up with their link, they get paid. But Ethan, how do you know that? Well, I've had Debutify contact me on my Instagram. They DM'd me. They wanted me to promote them. And I like the guy who's made this theme. I know who he is. But it's just, I'm not a fan of saturation. I'm not a fan of promoting something that everyone is using because that usually means it'll get saturated. People will find out that, oh, all these websites look alike. That means they're all scams. They're gonna group together in our brains that it's not good. So you wanna make your website look different. You wanna make it look unique and actual professional. And if you're just copying what tens of thousands of other people are doing, you're not gonna stand out. No one's gonna think you're unique. And using the same fonts and same themes as everyone else is not a recipe for success. I am slowly and slowly turning into a dropshipping pariah as I call out your favorite Shopify gurus for selling out and promoting bad themes to you. I understand that. You probably had your favorite dropshipping guru tell you, Debutify is the shit, man. It's so good. Booster, man, I made a million dollars on the booster theme. Yeah, you're fucking right, you did. But guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, feel free to leave a like down below because I love making these videos. If you could get anything out of it, try to use the turbo theme if you can. And if not, there are free themes available to you. But I would recommend once you're getting some sales, invest into a premium theme. It's your website. It's the first impression people have. So you want to make sure that it is a good impression and that people actually believe that you're a legitimate brand. So as always, it has been a pleasure getting to entertain and educate you at the same time. But if you guys could remember one thing, Ethan, what do they need to remember? Well, I need you guys to do one thing, and that's to stay humble, but always, 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 always do numbers.